Hey, Angris. You ever wonder why we were the only ones to get dubbed over in Godzilla vs. Gigan? Woof. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can understand you, but Ghidorah has three heads. It's like three times the voice acting. It was for my cats. Actually, it's probably for more than that. Although, why do they have to use that horrible radio sound? Oh, that was definitely me. I was trying to listen to Journey one day, and may or may not jam my claw through the electronic equipment. Kagan, we keep telling you, you gotta be more careful. How can I be more careful? I am literally walking death. For crying out loud, my spikes have spikes. Bikes. Actually, real quick, do you think I could file for disability with these kind of attributes? I'm pretty much like a glorified amputee. Uh, is my head wet? I'm feeling kind of woozy. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, you go use a fire hydrant or something. Listen up, Rangers! Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Wait, my name's Arnaz. And today we got for this review the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1972 from the film Godzilla vs. Gigan. One of my favorite villains. It's a chicken. Giant right. chicken cyborg. You got some cockroach aliens that just want to make the world a better place by killing all the humans. Yes, they do. It is amazing. <laughs> if, if you've never seen this movie, what are you doing here? Go watch a it. A guy gets robbed with corn? Yeah, it's also, great. Love this film. Also, what's kind of sweet about this action figure is it works with quite a few of the monsters. At least Hedora. This I was works say fine Hedora. with Hedora. If we get um, they make Gabra Minya, it'll work fine for it. If they make Gabra Minya, I would buy it. Yeah, that was, but I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. At least not anytime soon. Well, I'm hoping Super Seven will. They make all weird crap. Maybe Super 7 will make it. I think Super 7's only allowed to do Heisei. Ew, really? I you know, think. now that I think about it, yeah, that's all I've seen was just certain villains. Yeah, it, like they hopefully they might branch into the show realm, but as of right now, I don't, mm. I don't think Gabra's anywhere Sandy. on their agenda. Although if they did do Gabra, I hope he has real hair. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That would be hilarious. <laughs> and I would love it always. <laughs> But yeah, so the main reason I got this new Monster Arts, new mold, new Showa mold, so I'm super excited. So, you know, the Showa just does not get enough loving. You know, Monster Arts doesn't make a new mold unless they're going to reuse it a couple of times, so what else can they use this for? Godzilla is just a door. Because you can give them the eye patch and the little the skeleton the, hands. The thingies. Yeah, because he burns his hand with the orbs. Yeah. yeah. Give him the orbs. Those aren't the orbs, Steve. We all know what those are. <laughs> He's only got two of them. <laughs> uh, what else? I was about to say Megalon. It wouldn't really work with Megalon. No. Well, maybe. Although, we'll get we'll into it. Because you'll see here that the insert's not even inside its cardboard prison because I might have already threw it out. I think Steve got a little too excited and jumped and gun. Yeah, I was cleaning and just was like, oh, there's a bunch of plastic inserts on the floor. Pitched them all. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I still need that one for the review. And I wasn't going to dig it back <laughs> out of the garbage. Good job, Steve. But the box is pretty atypical monster arts where you get some kaiju slashing. Turn this thing off for a second. It's got this nice black and red to it. I was trying to see, does, does he have blood on his nose on that one? Yeah, that's what the extra head is. Oh, it's blood nice. From the, yeah. when you get smacked in the head by Gigan one too many times. Which it does show on the back. The only thing is on the back of the box, it shows the red super bright on the head. We'll get to that in a second. And some legal mobile jumbo on the bottom. But anyways, let's get him open up out of his cardboard prison. What a waste. You're welcome. Alright, so now we got him opened up out of its cardboard prison. First and foremost, he comes talk, with an accessory. Talk faster, Steve. He's already turning his back to the camera. I'm sorry. But you, I'm just excited because we finally get some kind of extra thing to go along with a Godzilla figure. I know. I'm just used to being just him. Yeah, just him. Be happy with your spending $130 to $50. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, how much was he? I don't remember. I think $130. Standard $130. And an accessory? There. Yeah, and you get accessory, which... I don't know why, 
But it already, like, bumps this guy up a tier for me just because he comes with something. And it's not even anything that amazing. Like, it's just, like, he has an extra head. But I think just get, like just having something extra to do with the thing already improves it significantly. It makes me feel better knowing, you know what I mean? I feel like I got some more bang for my buck. And then it's like, you almost get two figures in one. It almost kind of makes me feel like getting another one of these so that I can have both the heads on there. Uh, maybe we'll get a bootleg. It's cheaper. They're, they don't have a bootleg. Well, they will now. Don't worry. Somebody will steal that mole. Well, that the, to be honest, if I getting an extra one, I would probably take the extra head and actually make the eye. Oh yeah, that would be and a good make, idea. Turn the other one into a Hedora version. Yeah, I'm also half tempted because we've been talking about getting a scanner for uh, commission purposes, and I could just make the eye, scan the eye, and then sell the patch to go over top of it. That would be actually not a bad idea to make a Hedora version. It'd be fairly inexpensive to do. I'd probably be like, I'd do like the eyes and the orbs. It'd be like, just like a set. Oh yeah, and it'd be so simple too, honestly. The orbs. Yeah, just roll a ball and you just gotta yeah. make the moss look on it. Pretty. I don't want to say simple, but it's not an overtly complicated thing. But it's something that I can't do on Blender for the life of me. But I could sculpt it by hand, no problem. <laughs> yeah, just a little putty and done. Yep. Well, not a little more than that. You gotta the main yeah the well, okay you know it doesn't sound that, that good simple stuff. then you gotta screw with the scanny thing and then i gotta still put it on blender solidify it steve and then make the file for the our knees are touching Just gonna start that only fans one of these days hey <laughs> if, if i can stop working my job the problem is your knees Oh, we'll figure it. We'll, 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 we'll finger that out. Don't He's worry. He's already blown his knees once. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Don't worry. But anyways, for a closer look at his details. So for the accessory head, you'll see the eyes look really nice. One thing I kind of wish is because between the two heads, they are the exact same heads. So there's nothing unique about it other than this one just has the red for the blood which is super hard to see, especially on the camera here. It just looks like it has a bit of like a dark wash going over the top of the face. Yeah, that's... Uh, in person, you can see the reds a lot better, but... There's a massive difference between the, uh, what they portrayed on the box and what you actually get. Yeah, and like I mentioned before, it's one of those areas that I kind of want to heighten it a little bit more. It's not bad. Like, in person, you can see the red. A little bit but i think it could have been a little bit brighter and then you can see a little bit of the silver for the dorsal spines we get accessory no first time in a while steve and what do you do you bitch about it that's <laughs> true right <laughs> well one thing because like i said i kind of wish for the head it had a way of fully closing the mouth would have been kind of cool with the accessory head it can do it uh, it's a pretty like i said it's the same thing so both the heads can only close about to there it seems like they used the same mold and it just added a little bit of paint to it. Yeah, which, like I said, it's fine. It's nice that, like I said, it's even posable. Yeah. But I almost think they could have kind of almost did a Super 7 for us. Oh, God, yeah. Where we have the posable regular head and then the bloody head could have been fully closed mouth. Maybe there, maybe Super 7 was on something. You don't know. Closed maybe. eyes, closed mouth. and Because yeah. then, then you could have the bloody head and him on the ground if you wanted for, for toy photography. Maybe that's what everyone's yeah, going to start doing neat. now. Just give us an extra head with different expressions on it. and Yeah. Which would be dope. Like I mentioned, uh, to be honest, for this film, the only other thing I would say, like a beam. Again, it's always beams would have been kind of cool. But at some point, they could also just give us an atomic version of this figure as well. And like I said, I can see them repurposing this sculpt anyways for a Godzilla vs. Hedorah suit. Yeah, so like definitely, said, you know that now that they made this, that we're going to get one of those, so... Yeah, so like I said, love getting the extra head, love the overall effect, but I just kind of wish it was a little bit of a brighter red to show off than what's currently on it. And then for the actual figure, it's probably... This might be my new favorite show of Monster Arts figure. Why? Because the sculpt on this is phenomenal. I was just a little weird out by the silver, but then... Once I looked it up, it's actually legit. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Which I don't remember it, but I think I was focused too much on everything else besides Godzilla in that movie. <laughs> this is true. Well, to me, it's always, I don't know, I always just think of it as the, like, 
grayish bone color for yeah. the dorsal spines. But this kind of, it almost works too because, like I said, like the one I have upstairs that really strikes me with the silver is the X plus for Terror Becca Godzilla. Yeah. Which works for those films because you have the Imposter Godzilla, so like the silver spines. But it was just the thing that they did in general, which they do look really good. Also, this little spine's articulated. Any specific reason? I think it's just so when you're posing the figure, the spines Aww. will come into contact. You can kind of shift it away from this dorsal plate. That's a smart design, actually. So don't damage it. They did the same thing for the minus one Godzilla, which I appreciate. Although these spines definitely aren't as fragile as those. Like I had, uh, speaking of, he was sitting on the couch down here and I didn't realize something sat on his spine. So his spine went totally horizontal. Hair dryer fixed it, but I was kind of worried that it stressed. But it I didn't. would be sad. I lucked out like nobody's business. But anyways, teeth look good. Jai freaking Gannick. You also get the inside of his mouth. Is this ton actually posable? The <laughs> ton is posable. You can move it. Good luck getting your fingers in that mouth, but it is a possibility. <laughs> really? Yeah, you might want some kind of flat plastic piece in order to lift it up but you can shift the ton inside the mouth how do you get your fat fingers in there steve i have a slight nail and i kind of lifted it with that oh, you're looking pretty good yeah tell me i got fat fingers and then for the rest of the kaiju he's got a little bit of stockiness to him you can see even on the back here he's got a bit of a hunch going on which is accurate for the suit got the elongated neck because the dude's head had to fit inside of here so the show suits always tend to have a little bit more of a lift on them than some of the other Godzillas. It would be awesome to actually put in like the slits in the neck for the guys to see and breathe. I yeah, they have they... like the holes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they do or not. Well, to be fair, like how they had it was just like a bunch of holes. Yeah. To see through it. One thing I would have been kind of neat is having some extra hands. Because I don't know why, but I always really wish that Monster Hearts would give us some clenched fists so Godzilla could throw some hands. Oh, like a boxing match. Yeah. Especially with Shoah, because Shoah like punch like nobody's business didn't super seven give us that they did that's why super Seven's a superior company because <laughs> they let me punch with my monsters <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding i love my monsters still on a clutch fist though and the one other thing i think is a big standout for this figure is the tail why because it's so stiff and posable the great thing too is, is that you can actually oh yes you can actually if you spread his legs you can get him doing the Whee! flying pose <laughs> <laughs> i seen somebody too using the tail and being able to actually support him on it i saw somebody do it so it must be true just because you seen something on the internet steve that does not mean it's real grandpa oh, oh. i had it Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. Hold up. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's that tail can hold his weight. That, that's got to be a photo for the uh, thumbnail for this video. Holy crap, that is great. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have Godzilla dropkick somebody. This be <laughs> 100%. That is awesome. And then for the rest of the spines, you'll see the silver coming along the tail here. Comes to right about there. And then kind of gave up on the rest of it well the detailing of the scales the look really good where it has the traditional wrinkles of what i always think of with godzilla scales are overrated in my opinion i like my wrinkles it's got some kneecaps super dumb kneecaps we got the three toes only thing that really makes me sad about these figures is their thighs they're not thick but i'm they used were... to the thick thighs you know yeah like he's massive. used to like traditional heisei yeah. like Fat grandma thighs. Yeah. Well, these guys, those are a bit leaner and meaner and more, again, into throwing hands, which is why I need fucking clench fist. Kind of reminds me of the new Godzilla, the Evolve one, when he's like thinner. Yeah, like I said, he's, I don't understand why people are like, when you try to reference that film and compare it to Showa movies, and they're like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing show about it. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, there is. Well, he's literally thin. Yeah, <laughs> yes, there is. Thin, disproportionate, moves faster. Kind of like these guys did. Where he's just like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Going into combat. Anyways, for its articulation, head can look up about yay far. Down about that far. 
You guys want to see side shot? You can wiggle side to side. Yeah, it's got actually a lot of room on that neck. Yeah, you can rotate it. A lot of play there. The shoulders go down about that far, up about that far. You can rotate them all the way around. It's got technically a double jointed elbow, but it only really gets about a 45 degree out of it. Hands can rotate side to side. Hinge forward and back. Through the waist. You've been forward about eh, about that far. Backwards. About that oh, far for straight Got a good posture. Ah! Ah! What's the leg? Yeah. All right, Steve is breaking stuff already. All right. Doesn't bend that far. Got it. <laughs> Legs. What's kind of cool is it actually has the rotation here at the thigh because of that piece there. Oh, so I can go I forward see. about that far. Backwards about that far. You can almost touch his spine with his foot. You know, the one thing I really so do... So it only really goes about that far outwards. The one thing that I really do love about SH Monster Arts is their uh, articulation and yeah. all their figures. It does not disappoint at all. Got a solid knee bend. Feet can wiggle side to side. Forward back. The tail goes up about eh, that far. You can straighten it up. Again, like we showed earlier, you can bend that thing all the way forward. And side to side. And for some quick comparisons, here we have the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1972 compared next to some other kaijus that kind of work with them with the SH Monster Arts line. Well, specifically, he's meant for Gigan, but also really solid figure if you have the Hedora as well. And here he is with the Revolt Tech Angerus and the bootleg, well, sort of bootleg Monster Arts style Ghidorah, which that works really well together. Love the scaling. Wish it wasn't so hard to get freaking get a hold of anymore. <laughs> well, then again, Angerus is also super hard to get a hold of. But also, on a sad note, doesn't quite scale well with this. It's fine, but he probably should be a bit bigger. But still, he's acceptable. And here is some action figures I got for my birthday with the NECA Last Ronin Leonardo and the First to Fall Raphael. And for some giggles, here he is next to the Hammond Collection Carnotaurus and the Little Godzilla plush made by Bam? It's a Bam Books a Million exclusive? I don't know if it's actually made by Bam. Surreal Entertainment. Make sure... Oh, he is machine washable. Dope. I gotta review this guy. He's been like hanging out in my basement for freaking ever. <laughs> and I finally just got him off the, uh, the turtle cabinet so that I can... <laughs> I'll do the review whatever when this gets over. And then finally for some upcoming reviews that the one's way too big for my table space here. But we have the uh, Super Toho Godzilla 1999 from X Plus. Don't have the tail on him currently, but we'll, we'll fix that eventually. He's actually, a, these both are going to be the same style commission, just totally different figures. Because we also have the Movie Monster Series Giron from Bandai, the anime variant. Which both of these are going to be made into action figures. So overall for the Monster Arts 1972 Godzilla, this is probably the best Godzilla we've gotten in quite a bit. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. I like it. I love the posability on it. The detailing on it is phenomenal. And again, like just coming with one accessory just makes it infinitely better. It makes me feel better about myself, you know. Because honestly, the minus one Godzilla is probably a better figure. In terms of like posability and the just like the intricacy of the detailing. I'll make my own shin. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say it's not like this is more movie accurate than the minus one was. Minus one head's maybe a little bit off, but it's still a more complicated figure. But this again, like holds poses really well. I'm not worried about damaging anything. It comes with things. Yeah, this honestly, I think this is definitely uh, one of uh, better Godzillas this year so far. Yeah, and honestly, just probably in general. I'm trying to think of the last time I've gotten a Godzilla that I like be better than this. But my opinion is biased, like though. Maybe just Ultima? Just because I like this movie, so... Yeah, well, like I said, any of the 70s I'm into. I d we need more stuff. Like, I'm so, so surprised we haven't gotten, like, a Megalon announced. Oh. Because I'm waiting for Jed Jaguar, because Punch Punch. <laughs> but we need Megalon to go along because we have Gigan now we have a God's, Godzilla that'll work at least for right now yeah. we need Megalon not King Caesar I was trying to think of what his name is but it's Caesar 
Ew, it's the best song ever. No, no, it's not. It's, it's not. not. I'm sorry. If there's something that's worse than Mothra's song, it's probably him. <laughs> I don't know. Gamera's got some pretty rough ones. We don't talk about the pe- uh, pedo. Gamera, Gamera, he's a little na na na. Flames come out of his butt, butt, butt. He's a little Gamera. No, no, Steve, stop it. <laughs> I know it's not how the song goes, but that was how my mom always saying it when I re- like when I was growing up watching it. It was the only way that she it was manageable for her. <laughs> oh, it's good times. But if you haven't picked up this figure for yourself, link in the description for entertainment. Or if you can help support the channel, get yourself a sweet Godzilla collectible and get free shipping. Nice. As long as you put in the code. They have a shipping code. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button. Subscribe and come here today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, TikTok, and Facebook. Guys, I'll keep up the day with you. Donate. Greatly would appreciate it. Sometimes with these videos or stream on TikTok, we're doing it actually right now. So if you guys like to check that out and keep up the date with these videos, greatly would appreciate it. We also have a Patreon if you guys want to donate that way. We have Invader. Yeah, he likes to come and investigate everything. It's a cat. He always breaks in. Problem is I can't really close the door because I have a cable running through it. And he knows how to open like everything. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, let's get back to this. All right. We gotta wait till he kind of faces the camera, though. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Come on. Okay, no, I was taking forever. I think I moved the head. Now he's too far. <laughs>